If you guys have ever worked on an engine or anything mechanical for that matter, you know how hard it can be to remove this grease. And not really even if it's difficult, it's just time consuming. So what we're going to be doing today is seeing how quickly we can eliminate this grease and grime in the VH3500 dry blast. Now, of course, this machine is an absolute mammoth, especially when compared to this part. But if you're trying to do anything like a motorcycle frame or large industrial parts, this front swing door is a huge benefit. Again, this is set up currently as a soda blast. So we're gonna be able to quickly remove that grease and grime off of this part. This can also be set up as a sand blast as well as a wet blast as well as a hydro blast. So no matter what type of surface finishing product you need, this cabinet can be outfitted as such. Now again, in this machine, we are using soda. This is just your uh, standard, standard soda blast. Some of the benefits of soda are the fact that it's water soluble. So after you actually finish, finish blasting, you can take this part, rinse it off. All the media that's on it is gonna be completely gone. A downside of soda is that it's single use when it comes to dry blasting. So as soon as that soda leaves the blasting gun and hits the part, it's then immediately pulled into the dust collector and it cannot be used again. That is different. Um, if you're using wet blasting, because with wet blasting, the water cushions the abrasive and that soda can be reused. But you do have to super saturate the water, so you have to put more than you would in your, in your standard dry soda blast. Another major benefit of soda blast is that you do not have to worry about damaging the metal that is on your part. So if this was a softer aluminum or a brass piece, you absolutely would not have to worry about touching it. It really doesn't even affect the substrate, it just cleans it. The soda is not hard enough to actually cause any abrasion on that. We should see a pretty good example of that right here. Now for this part specifically, I'm gonna be focusing on the right hand side. As you can see, there is a lot of grind buildup on this. Um, later, we may actually do a comparison video with the Hydro Blast that you, so that you guys can see a difference. But I'm sure as you can already hear, the dust collector, which is just now starting to turn off, was running inside this machine. That dust collector does an amazing job of pulling all of this soda out. If you guys have ever used a traditional soda blast, you know how foggy those machines can get. But in the 3500 specifically, that, that um, dust collector does an amazing job of pulling all of this soda out and it gives you a great view of this large work area. I hope that showed up well on camera, guys, because literally as soon as I touched this part, it was immediately stripping that grease and grime off. I'm gonna go ahead, honestly, I'm gonna run around the edge so we can see a little bit more action. That has so much power. That is insane for soda. Because what's actually happening is as, as soon as that soda hits this part, it's actually exploding because the soda is so brittle, but it still does such a good cleaning job. And again, you're not actually gonna affect this metal. You know, if you're blasting with something like an aluminum oxide, you would actually start to see this metal change. You would actually start to open the pores up on that aluminum because you're hitting it with so much force, but with soda, that's not a problem. So I was honestly not a big believer in soda blasting because I just didn't feel like it could do enough. But this thing has made a believer out of me. And I, I truly believe it's the pressure pot setup that this thing has because it's just forcing that soda onto this part. And as you can see, I mean, it left us with pure metal. This top section is completely usable again. Now again, if you guys are any sort of mechanic or someone who's dealing with critical components and you have to worry about abrasive being in your part after blasting, soda blasting is an excellent choice because again, that abrasive is water soluble. So once this part's finished, you can rinse it off and put it immediately back to use. You don't have to worry about drying and rinsing and ultrasonic cleaning like you would with standard sand blasting. So again, soda blasting, you're not going to be able to actually put a surface finish on the part or a texture, but what you are gonna be able to do is strip any sort of grease and grime off. Actually, we had this thing removing paint earlier, which soda blasting is not even supposed to be able to do. So 
This is truly an incredible machine. If you guys have any questions about soda blasting, please leave them in the comments below. If you're ready to get one of these machines, you can check out our website, vaporhauntingtechnologies.com. It's in the description below, or you can call us at 828-202-5563. Again, if you have any questions, not only related to soda blasting, but shot blasting, sand blasting, wet blasting, hydro blasting, parts washing, whatever it may be, please leave it in the comments below. We would love to hear from you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.